I've always been very focused on uh, being very honest with my music uh, and following my you know, goosebumps while I'm choosing uh, new, new songs. Uh, but it's very difficult to express uh, how it is for me to be uh, in this uh, show business since 30 years. What do you think your main influences have been musically, Laura, over the years? Who inspires you today? Oh, well, today, for, for writing my music or to sing my music, uh, is always experience, uh, personal experience uh, that I'm um, focused every day, meeting people, listening to stories about other people. Um, I'm always, I'm, I'm searching for uh, real stories about a human being. And this is what it helps me to be a woman, a singer, you know, a friend. So uh, for sure, this is the most exciting thing for me to be focused on the real life. Lara, you're a huge star in Europe, but also a big, big star in Latin America. Uh, you were even named the Latin Recording Academy's Person of the Year. As an Italian artist, how does it feel to have that much success and love in Latin America? Well, I started singing in Spanish in 1994, so this is actually my 30th anniversary uh, in Spanish this year. And they really adapt me. And I feel every day very proud to, to of course, understand that I'm, uh, an, I mean, a very... Um, privileged Italian uh, woman, but in the same times I feel in my blood uh, Latin American culture because I was living there, I was uh, growing up with them. So they taught me how to be the, the woman I am now with European, of course, with Italians, but uh, I'm a Latin American Girl, too. <laughs> uh, talking about an Italian icon, I saw that you posted on social media that you sang at the birthday of Sophia Loren, uh, the amazing Italian who's 90 years yeah. old. I can't believe it just watching that video. What was that like? Well, you know what? I felt uh, like uh, I was all, almost crying uh, while I was in front of her singing, even though I, I, I've been... Uh, spending a lot of time with her in the past. Uh, I knew her from years, but every time I have to sing for her or in front of her, I feel, I don't know how, like a, like a little kid in front of a big present. Tell me a little bit about the final leg of your world tour. What can fans expect? All right, so this, this, the tour is... Uh, the thing that I love the most, for sure. Uh, I'm preparing a show that will go through these past 31 years of my career while keeping an eye open to the future. The show is divided musically and visually into three parts, which represent past, present and future. And the musical arrangements and the stylic, uh, stylistic uh, choices follow three uh, these three moments. It's like... Uh, I can say it's like a walk through the past three, 30 years toward the future. Um, and please let me tell you that the show will also include social topics such as uh, climate change and violence against women. Uh, and I want my voice and my stage to put uh, a light on these specific issues because I believe that all human beings must have the possibility to love in a healthy and stable environment. There will also be a lighter moments uh, where the audience is just going to enjoy the show and sing along the hits of mine. Uh, I can't wait to feel the, the warmth of uh, the fans and to have uh, fun with them. London is going to be my first stop so I, I want to kickstart this tour with uh, the right energy. Laura, è stato veramente un piacere. Grazie mille per aver parlato Grazie con noi. Grazie a te. Grazie a te, Mariam.